This is the grade six math practice test for TN ready. Question number 14. Consider the numbers nine and 12. I don't, okay, done. I've considered them. Part A, what is the greatest common factor of nine and 12? And then you enter your response provide, in the space provided. In part B, what is the least common multiple of nine and 12? So the real issue here is knowing the difference between factors and multiples. Well, multiples kind of written into it, right? It's you multiply. So I'll do that one first. You can even make a little chart because why wouldn't you spend time doing this? So nine times one, so I'm gonna multiply by one, I get nine. Nine multiplied by two is 18. Nine multiplied by three is 27. Nine multiplied by four is 36. Nine multiplied by five is 45. And nine multiplied by six is 54. If you don't know these, again, this is a calculator section. But do yourself a favor on this one time and write out the multiples so you can see them, unless you just happen to know it in your head. Just typing them in the calculator is really easy to do, but it's also very easy to make a mistake. 12, this would be 12, 24, 36, and I don't really need to go any further. I could, I mean, 48, 60, 72, but I don't need to because I saw this and I'm going down this list, I see this. The least common multiple would just be in your list of multiples, your number multiplied by one, two, three, four, five, that they have in common. That's what the common part means. So the smallest one is just the first one that you find they have on both sets. So the answer to this question is 36. Now factors is a little different. So if we think of multiples as the multiply part, we think of factors as being a divide. And sometimes you'll see videos where they break down large events, and this is one factor in this, this is one factor in this, this is one factor in this. And that, what they're saying is these are parts that make up this larger issue that's happening. Having a slippery floor was one factor in Mr. Teacher Person slipping in the cafeteria and then passing gas in front of everyone. It's just a factor in it. So we need to find factors of these groups, so let's make factor lists. So factor is a divide concept. And this is a multiply concept. Multiplication, I know. What are the factors of nine? Well, nine divided by one is nine, so that's a set. Um, another is two doesn't go in, so three and three, and that's it, because four doesn't go, five doesn't go, six doesn't go. And if you want to type them into your calculator and just check, you can see if you type in nine divided by three, it will give you three. But if you type in nine divided by two, it will give you 4.5. That's not a factor. It has to be whole numbers to be factors. One and 12, two and six, three and four. So what we're looking for is we'll start at the higher end here because we want the greatest common factor and start to look for matches. 12, no, six, no. Four, no. I'm, by the way, when I say these things, I'm looking over here. Three. Three is the first match. It's there, and it's there. One is also a common factor. It's just not the greatest common factor, so you have to give them what they ask for. So my answer here is three. So anytime you have a factor, think about, okay, what parts make it up, so I have to find things that are divisible. For multiples, just multiply the original number by 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and those are your multiples, and find the first one when you're doing least common multiples, because you can't technically have a greatest common multiple. Multiples or numbers go on forever. That's how infinity works. So you can always find another multiple, but you want the least one, so the first one that you find. For the greatest common factor, you're limited by the number's value itself. Um, in fact, the smaller number can actually be the least common factor. If it was, if this number was, say, 6, then 6 goes into 12, so that would be the actual number itself would be the least common factor, or the greatest common factor. But in this case, none of that worked, so you have to go with your 3.